Hummingbird migration is underway. The first hummingbird already spotted this week in Southwest Virginia. 10 News reporter Brittany Weir is working for you on the best things to put in your feeder. I love seeing hummingbirds in my backyard. Yeah, and you guys know I'm someone who is, you know, scared of birds. They're not my favorite, but hummingbirds, <laughs> I think they're beautiful. They yes. don't they don't make me scared. I think they're great. So I love watching them too. And so seeing more around uh, this area is great to see this spring. So bird watchers across the United States have reported the first sightings of hummingbirds. So that tiny bird, they're making their migration back to the states. And the first hummingbird was spotted in our region on Sunday in Roanoke. So this is extremely early sighting and could be a problem though for the species. According to Ashley Peel with Virginia Tech, hummingbirds usually don't arrive in this area until late April. And the reason the early arrival is a problem is because our environment, such as the plants and the greenery, is not ready yet. However, we can help these early birds have enough food to eat by putting out feeders. Peel says when it comes to what to put in your feeder, the simpler is better. I always recommend folks stick with glass feeders or feeders that aren't plastic that won't break down in the sun. Also, so for the food, um, simplest thing is just white sugar and water. So. During migration, it's one part sugar to three parts water. And then during the breeding season, it's just one part sugar to four parts water. And there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to what to feed these hummingbirds. Well, according to Peel, food that contains a lot of additives or any sort of red dye is actually really bad for the birds. So you want to avoid that and just stick with that sugar water. And hummingbirds, they rely on a diversity of plants, and that's why in southwest Virginia, it's such a popular spot for them to migrate. So another way that you can help out the species is by researching which plants are native to our area and then planting them in your yard. Brittany Weir, 10 News, working for you.